Good morning everyone! Welcome back to the world of numbers. Today, we are going to talk about arithmetic sequence. After this video lesson, you are expected to define an arithmetic sequence, illustrate an arithmetic sequence, and solve problems involving arithmetic sequence. In the previous lesson, you have learned that a sequence is an arrangement of objects, numbers, or even figures which follow a certain pattern. Also, you have learned about the processes in finding patterns of any sequence. Look at these examples. In the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, what is the pattern you observed? The pattern, a term is obtained by adding 2 to the preceding term. What about in this sequence? 3, 6, 12, 24. Yes, a term is obtained by multiplying 2 to the preceding term. What about in the sequence 5, 10, 15, 20? Of course, a term is obtained by adding 5 to the preceding term. Observe the following sequences. 4, 7, 10, 13. 33, 38, 43, 48. Negative 2, negative 6, negative 10, negative 14. Can you give the next two terms of the above sequences? How did you get those terms? If you get 16 and 19 in item 1, then you are correct. Notice that a constant number 3 is added to the preceding term to get the next term. To get the preceding term in the item number 2, 5 is added to the preceding term. And negative 4 is added to the preceding term in item number 3. Notice that to get the next term in each of the sequences above, a constant or a common number is added to the preceding term or the number before it. The constant number being added is called the common difference and we represent it as D. All these sequences are called arithmetic sequence. To find the common difference D, you can simply subtract the second term A sub 2 by the first term A sub 1, A sub 2 minus A sub 1, or the third term A sub 3 by the second term A sub 2, A sub 3 minus A sub 2, or the fourth term A sub 4 by the third term A sub 3. A sub 4 minus A sub 3, or in general term, a term A sub n by its preceding term A sub n minus 1. Or, D equals A sub n minus A sub n minus 1. From the discussion on arithmetic sequence earlier, let us solve the problems that follows. Let us have the first problem. Determine if the sequence is arithmetic or not. If it is, find the common difference and the next three terms of the sequence. Negative 4, 3, 10, 17. A sub 1 is equal to negative 4. A sub 2 is equal to 3. A sub 3 is equal to 10. And A sub 4 is equal to 17. To find out if the sequence is arithmetic, there must be a common difference between any two consecutive terms in the sequence. Let us find for the common difference. A sub 2 minus A sub 1 equals 3 minus negative 4 equals 7. A sub 3 minus A sub 2 equals 10 minus 3 equals 7. Then a sub 4 minus a sub 3 equals 
17 minus 10 equals 7. Because there is a common difference between consecutive terms, the sequence is arithmetic. Since the common difference is 7, the next three terms are obtained by adding 7 to the preceding term. Let us solve for the fifth term. A of 5 is equal to A of 4 plus 7. A of 4 is equal to 17 plus 7. A of 5 is equal to 24. Let us solve for the sixth term. A of 6 is equal to A of 5 plus 7. The fifth term is 24. Therefore, 24 plus 7 a of 6 is equal to 31. Let us solve for the 7th term. A of 7 equals the 6th term, A of 6 plus 7. The 6th term is 31 plus 7. A of 7 is equal to 38. Thus, the common difference is 7, and the next three terms are 24, 31, and 38. Let us have the second problem. Write the first five terms of the arithmetic sequence with 5 as the first term and with a common difference of negative 2. Solution, our first term is given a sub 1 equals 5. Let us solve for the second term. Second term is equal to a of 2 equals a of 1 plus negative 2. This is equal to 5 minus 2 equals 3. Second term is equal to 3. Let us solve for the, second, the third term. The third term is equal to a of 3 equals a of 2 plus negative 2. a of 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus negative 2 equals... 3 plus negative 2 is equal to 3 minus 2 equals 1. Let us solve for the fourth term. Fourth term is equal to a of 4 equals a of 3 plus negative 2. a of 3 is 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. Let us now solve for the fifth term. The fifth term is equal to a of 5 equals a of 4 plus negative 2. What is a sub 4? a sub 4 is negative 1 minus 2 equals negative 3. To get a term, we added the common difference or constant to the preceding term. So, the first terms of the sequence are 5, 3, 1, negative 1, and Negative 3. The nth term a sub n of an arithmetic sequence whose first term is a sub 1 and common difference is t is given by the expression a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let us have an example. In the arithmetic sequence 3, 7, 11, which term is 119? Given a of n is equal to 119. The first term is equal to 3. Let us solve for the common difference. The common difference is given by d equals a of 2 minus a of 1. a of 2 is 7 minus 3. Therefore, our common difference is equal to 4. Using a of n, 
equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d a sub n is equal to 119 a sub 1 is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 the common difference is equal to 4 now let us simplify similar terms 119 minus 3 is equal to n minus 1 times 4. 119 minus 3 is equal to 116. Applying distributive property of multiplication, this is equal to 4n minus 4. Simplify by dividing both sides by 4. 116 divided by 4 is equal to 29. 29 equals n minus 1. Simplifying similar terms, we have 29 plus 1 equals n. Therefore, n is equal to 30. Therefore, 119 is the 30th third of the sequence. Let's have another example. Find the 16th term of the arithmetic sequence if a sub 7 equals 13 and a sub 10 is equal to 22. This time we are going to find for the common difference d and a sub 16 using a sub 7 equals 13 and a sub 10 equals 22. a sub 7 equals a sub 1 plus 7 minus 1 times d. We have 13 equals a of 1 plus 6d. This is our equation number 1. a of 10 equals 22. a of 10 equals a of 1 plus 10 minus 1 times d. a of 10 is 22 equals a of 1 plus 10 minus 1 times d. 22 equals a of 1 plus 90 will be our second equation. We have two equations with the same variable. So we form a system of equation to solve for the common difference and a of 1. So we have 13 equals a of 1 plus 6d and we have 22 equals a of 1 plus 9d. Let us subtract the two equations. So in subtracting, um, we change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. Okay, so we have 6d plus negative 9d is equal to negative 3d. And then 13 plus negative 22 is negative 9. So we have this equation, negative 9 equals negative 3d. So let us solve for the d. Divide both sides by negative 3. Therefore, d is equal to negative 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to 3. Our common difference is equal to 3. Using the equation, 13 equals a sub 1 plus 6d. 13 equals a sub 1 plus 6d. We can solve for the a sub 1. So 13 equals a sub 1 plus 6 times the common difference which is 3. We have 13 equals a sub 1 plus 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, so we have... 13 minus 18 equals a sub 1. 13 minus 18 is equal to negative 5 is the first term. Okay, let us solve for the a sub n or a sub 16. For the a sub 16, we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. 
Okay, so let us solve for ace of 16. Ace of 16 equals, what is ace of 1? Ace of 1 is negative 5 plus n is 16 minus 1. Our common difference is 3. So, ace of 16 equals negative 5. Applying distributive property of multiplication, we have 45. And then, ace of 16 is equal to 40. And now, it's your turn. Find the common difference and the next three terms of each of the arithmetic sequence. Write your answer on your answer sheet. I hope you have learned something new today. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye!